artificial intelligence and politics, a modern debate threatening an ancient principle. Australia's first political deepfake debuted more than four years ago. The fact of the matter is, the state was well and truly cooked before the virus even came along. The digitally altered video featured the then Queensland Premier. Whilst clearly marked as a fake, it still attracted almost one million views. A deep fake is an AI-generated simulation of a real person, making them say or do things that they didn't really say or do. And it's becoming easier and faster to make deep fakes, and harder to detect them. In the intervening years, we've seen deep fakes used to mislead uh, elsewhere in the world including in advance of the US election. The current Premier has also been subjected to deep fakes ahead of the Queensland election. His voice was manipulated to sell Bitcoin. I'm about to enter a meeting, but I just wanted to talk to you as I haven't been able to do that since I promised. And his fake dance moves continue to appear in multiple LNP TikToks. Federal Labor has also been caught using AI to mock the opposition. It may seem harmless. In my opinion, it is going to be a threat to democracy. With the ability to spread misinformation. That could have a huge impact in terms of how the voters cast their votes. Uh, and then it could change the result uh, of the election. We made a deep fake in minutes, just by using an app. The Queensland Labor Premier says his party won't be creating deep fakes. But an LNP spokesperson says it's a way for them to connect to younger voters. With fake videos already showing up on our feeds. That I think it is our responsibility while using social media is to double check and always rely on uh, you know, reliable sources. Sarah Richards, ABC News, Brisbane.